Hi, this is the um, uh, help video for Access Chapter 12, Problem Solve 2. This is the first movie. So what I have is on the left here I have the instructions and on the right I actually have the database open. So <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and um, read what this is about. Crazy Carl's Rental Cars is a small locally owned business that specializes in renting cars to college students at discounted rates. The database, is cur the database currently contains tables, queries, forms, and reports used to track customers, cars, and rental contracts. Okay, cars, contracts, customers, employees. Um, okay, Carl would like to increase functionality of the database by implementing some macros, and that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to go ahead and close this one, uh, strike that through. We have opened the file and enabled. So the first thing we're going to do is to create this auto exec macro, and so that's the macro that would um, run when the system is opened. Um, okay, so that will open the form contract form in edit mode to a new record while, um, with the customer ID text field control selected. Okay, so if you wanted to find corresponding um, material on this process in your textbook, it's on 641. So let's go ahead and begin a macro, and this isn't attached to a form or um, a field or so we're going to actually begin it with create macro. I'm going to show all actions so that's kind of the standard and then we're going to put our comment in. Okay. <coughs> All right, so we have that. All right, so now we're gonna get to the nitty gritty of what we're gonna do. So let's read through what we wanna do. Add the open form action, so that's the action that we wanna do. Form contracts is the form name, form is the view, edit, and normal. So those are the pieces and parts we need. It starts off always by figuring out what action you want. Well, we can't, we need to open the form before we can do anything with it, right? Remember on the very first, um, in the training, we had a macro that was already built and it was in the wrong order. We were doing something to a record, but we hadn't opened the form yet, right? So you, you have to think about the order in which you complete these processes. So the form name is form contracts. The view is form, edit is the data mode, right, data mode, and normal is window. So we have the open form, okay, so we've opened it. So if we think back to what we're supposed to be doing, right, we're going to um, have customer ID text box, right, so the first thing we have to do is go to a new record, right? So <clears throat> edit to a new record and then go to customer ID. So those are two separate processes. So we've opened the form. Now we want to um, go to a new record and then we want to position our cursor in the customer ID control. So the next action is that we're going to go to a specific record. And so I'm going to go to record. Um, it is the form, and the form name is contract. And the record, we don't want the next one, we want a new one. So that's the whole point of this step is that once this form is opened, we're going to go like you were, like if you opened a form and you went to the bottom and you did the little arrow with the, ex, the little um, asterisk going to do new form. That's what you're doing there. 
So now we've opened the form, we've moved to a new record, and then the last thing we're going to do is this go to control. So go to control is going to position us in the field name of customer ID. That's the field that we want our cursor to be on when we are in this form at a new record. And so that's it. So we're going to save this as <coughs> auto exec. Okay, so I'm going to close that and just try it, right? So click on it and look. New record, look at where my cursor is. Customer ID. So it opened up contracts. It positioned us at a new record and it put my cursor or where I'm ready to begin on customer ID. So we know that worked. So we can go ahead and close that up and um, I am going to stop this movie. I'm going to do step seven on the next movie. Alright, thank you.